Hi you all. My name is Mary. This reading is for the first half of March, March 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. Hope everybody's doing good, staying warm. This may or may not resonate with everybody. Just take what you can, okay? Ace of Cups. Page of Cups. King of Swords. Strength card. The Tower. Page of Swords. Three of Wands. Ace of Swords. And judgment. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all, <laughs> I get excited with some of these cards. I'll be honest with you. You know, you have this Ace of Cups in the middle and then you got this Ace of Swords down here as well. And I almost feel like that these are new chapters. Well, not almost, these are. These are new chapters coming into your life and, and you're filled with emotions and happiness and your emotions are overflowing with this Ace of Cups. It gets me really excited for you all. Some of you guys may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone with these cards like this, with the page and then the ace and then the king, someone may be asking you out on a date. Someone may be uh, sending you flowers. Someone may be letting you know they have a little crush on you. Um, and it could definitely be an air sign or maybe they have this energy, um, the air energy. So that kind of makes me feel a little giddy, you know, like a little kid a little bit. So some of you guys may be pleasantly surprised when you start, when somebody asks you out on a date or they let you know that they're interested in you um, and it might get you a little bit excited. Now on the flip side of this, because it can go in a different way, some of you guys may be dealing with children. These could be your, your, your children or maybe you're getting involved with someone that has children and maybe you guys are um, putting your two families together possibly. Sometimes you know you get married and you have kids and they have kids and you put your kids together in a, in a one big family. So maybe that's where these two pages are coming in. And then on the flip side of that even, these could be messengers coming in, giving you some sort of information that you guys have put out there. You know when um, you request something or you ask for something or you fill out an application or you put in a resume or you're trying to get into a school or an apartment or get a bank loan or whatever it may be and you give them information and you're waiting to hear something back. Maybe this is regarding taxes too, for instance. You know, you hand your taxes into your accountant and you're, you're sitting there on, on pins and needles thinking you're gonna have to pay a whole lot and maybe, maybe it's better than you expected. Maybe you don't have to pay anything or maybe you're gonna be getting money back or something to that extent. I do feel that you guys are about to hear something from someone or um, maybe, hold on, let me rephrase. It may not be an actual person, it could be, um, it could be like in your city, for instance. It could be from a school kind of thing. It could be from a bank, you know, that kind of thing. 
but I do believe you guys are about to hear something or get some sort of information that comes in for you all that you're going to be excited about, to be quite honest. And maybe it is regarding your children. Maybe it is regarding this new relationship, possibly. Or maybe it's something totally different and it puts you guys in a um, better place. You know, when I see this tower underneath this Three of Wands, sometimes you all, people panic a little bit when they see the tower card, but sometimes it's not a bad thing. You know, sometimes whenever you know you have to change something, but you keep putting it off, whether it is uh, your job situation, maybe you're not crazy about your job, maybe they don't pay you enough money, and you guys have it in your head maybe that, I don't like this job. I need to go get another job. But for some reason, you're you're like everybody else and you're like me. You don't like to start a new job. So you just want to stay there and deal with it. But then things start happening and you really want to get out of this place. Then sometimes something may happen that puts you guys in a tailspin and you're like, okay, this is the time I'm getting out of this job. When this happens with the Tower card, it's a blessing in disguise, you all. It's almost like that something happens to kind of force you to make a change. And when that happens, you guys will be pleasantly surprised after it, afterwards, you know, once it's all said and done. Because I believe that no matter what it is that's kind of gnawing at you or, or not making you feel right, when once it changes it's going to put you in a whole new frame of mind in a whole new way of living in a whole new um a, a new chance a new um hold on give me a second this could be a new phase this could be some sort of transformation this could be some sort of an, an awakening and once that happens, you guys feel like a whole uh, ton of bricks are lifted off of your shoulders. And it's almost like you can start out fresh again. Maybe, maybe this has something to do with a child going this way. With the Page of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and then the Judgment. Some of you all may be... Um, getting custody of a child, maybe you're finding out you're pregnant or you're um, fostering or adopting a child. Hmm. So it could have something to do with a younger energy or children and it could have something to do with messages that come in for you all. Hold on one second. I see this Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Judgment. Whenever I get the Ace of Swords, I feel like that there's going to be some sort of um, an epiphany or an aha kind of moment. Some sort of truth that may be coming out. Some sort of, uh, of uh, hidden information that you guys may not have known about. That may be coming up or, or popping out and you guys are like, wait a minute, how on earth did I not realize that before? But sometimes it's just someone telling you the truth about something and it kind of hits you in a, in a good way to where you guys can make a change and, and a, a change for the better, I want to say. And sometimes it's just, you know, somebody saying something or communication in some way with this Ace of Swords. I feel like this, this air sign right here has a big part in your life throughout the month of March. Whether they are a romantic partner, a, a mother-father figure, a boss of some sort, um, but I feel like that this person is coming in, is stepping up to either ask you out on a date, give you information or communications, offer you something, Maybe even a job, possibly. I'm just throwing that out there. It just makes me feel like sometimes they're a boss of some kind. Maybe this is, um, if something happens with your job over here, that somebody else steps up and offers you 
a new position, and maybe that's where this tower comes in. Somebody offers you a new a job, a new position, and then the tower comes in, and you guys are going to be giving your notice and things like that, and that's going to put you in a whole new frame of mind, in a whole new, um, more confident, happy and healthier environment. Hold on just a minute. You know, sometimes we deal with a lot of nonsense in order to make ourselves um, money, you know, like at jobs. Sometimes we deal with nonsense in order to make our kids happy. Sometimes we deal with um, the pay at a job or, the, or a boss that drives us nuts just, uh, just to be able to pay our bills. But then sometimes we kind of have a little bit of an awakening and we're like, you know what, all I really want is to be happy. I kind of feel like you guys are right there at this time. And there, it's, there's nothing wrong with making yourself happy, you all. There's nothing wrong with it. It should be almost mandatory for everybody to be happy, right? Even though we all know that life in general and experiences and challenges and aggravation prevents us sometimes from being happy. But there's something going on here that's really making you guys emotionally uh, tickled. I mean, something is happening right now, maybe even as we speak or it's about to or it's starting, that's changing in your life that's really getting... Um, getting exciting for you all. Maybe it is you're finding out you're pregnant, for instance, with this Ace of Cups. You know, you're you're so uh, happy and, and joyous and, you know, all kinds of good feelings about it. You're overflowing with this, with this uh, emotions. Maybe it is getting into a new relationship, somebody asking you out or giving you um, some kind of romantic gesture but maybe it's regarding um, doing something different, like with this tower card here too. Sometimes when the tower card comes down, there's nothing to do but to move forward, and with that, it brings in something so much better into your life. People don't realize that sometimes, and that's the reason why they hang on to something that they don't want to hang on to, like their job or, you know, um, I don't think it's a relationship, but maybe for a few of you all, you guys are hanging on to a relationship that you just don't want to be in, maybe. But maybe this is something like, you know what, I'm going to pick up my things and I'm going to move somewhere different, or I'm going to apply for this new job. And especially with this Three of Wands coming in, something coming in for you all, it really makes me feel like you guys are going to be in a much, much better place here in just a little bit. So if you guys are looking for something new, no matter what it is, a new job, a new uh, career change, a new um, environment, place to live, whatever it is, it now might be the time to go ahead and start applying, to start looking into it putting it out there in the universe that, that you're wanting something new and exciting and you may just be getting it around this time, March 1st through the 15th. The month of March I feel like is going to be good for you all. Um, so if you're wanting something though, you're going to have to apply yourself for it. Uh, and once you do, you may be pleasantly surprised with the outcome. I have this strength card right here, you all, and I see the strength, the Ace of Cups, and then the Tower. The strength card just confirms that you guys are going to be have more strength and more energy and more motivation and more determination than maybe you've had in quite some time in making yourself happy, doing something for yourself, doing something for your relationship or for your kids, and with that, this tower card could be coming in saying, here comes a change. Hang in there. You're going to have extra strength to deal with this. Um, I'm a firm believer in prayer, but I also want to say that this is a faith. Have faith and trust in, in your decisions and in your situation. Because I think that something really good is going to come out of this. I really do. I feel like that there's... Um, something brewing right now in the background in your life 
that that's about to, to uh, uh, I almost want to say erupt, but in a good way. You know, how a volcano kind of, but in a good way, you know. I almost feel like that you guys have been either working on something or maybe it's something just hit you to where you guys are like, I need to change this specific thing right here, right now. And once you get that in your head, I believe it's going to work out for you. Look at this. The Three of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords all look like this. This information or this message or this um, offer or option or whatever it is, is coming in making you so happy and you're seeing things in a different way. This is a clarity. This is the truth coming out. This is you all feeling better about your decisions. You're thinking about them mentally. You're emotionally tickled. These are new chapters coming in. This is a great feeling that I have. Hold on just a minute. We're going to take some clarifying for this tower card, okay? Hold on. card really the full card you all this makes me feel like that this is a um, this is a new beginning this is a new adventure for you all because of the tower because sometimes even though we don't realize it when the tower does finally come in it's almost like the universe says you know what I've given you plenty of time to change this and you don't want to change it and you know good and well that you need to change it and if you don't change it I'm going to change it for you. Something comes in and something happens and you guys have to go to like let's say a new job for instance. Um, something gets pulled out from underneath you you know for a second but with that something great comes out of it. This is you guys taking on a new adventure feeling good about um, maybe it's even making you feel younger again, making you feel like I'm excited, but yet I'm nervous, but yet I'm ready to take this leap of faith. So here's the thing. Look at it now. You've got the three of wands, the fool card, and the judgment. These cards right here are telling me something's coming in for you all to put you all on a fun and interesting and a new path in one way or another. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, sometimes it's just the idea or a thought or um, some sort of clarity that comes out that puts you all in a different place. And then with this judgment, this can be like a resurrection or a rebirth or seeing things in a totally different way or starting out uh, fresh and from scratch in a different way. So I feel like that these cards right here are really uh, in your best interest and I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised with the way it works out. Then with these right here, clarity and truth coming out, new chapters coming in, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Could be romantic partner, could be a love as far as a father figure or a grandpa or a neighbor or someone at your church giving you a new opportunity possibly. They may be asking you out on a date. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to take one for this page of swords, you all. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords makes me feel like, you know, once again, it's an air energy. It's the intelligence. It's someone helping you. Someone uh, giving you love, possibly. It could be a mother-father figure. It could be you and someone else. She could be giving you extra strength at this time or extra knowledge to get through something that's important to you. Let's take another one. The Hermit. You know, whenever you guys get into a, um, a situation to where you need to think Sometimes you need to be by yourself. Sometimes you need to turn everything off and just sit quietly 
And when you do that, you start listening to your own inner wisdom, your own inner spirit, your own inner light, like this hermit. And it will guide you. It will lead you. It will show you. You'll, you'll feel it. It's like intuition to a certain extent, but maybe even stronger. You'll feel what you're supposed to do. You'll just know it almost if you'll listen to it, if you'll acknowledge it, if you'll feel it. So I have a feeling that this Hermit card is going to help you guys more than anything if you are wanting to or asking or trying to pray about it and trying to figure out if you need to go in a different direction. I believe this Hermit will show you the way if you allow it to. Hold on. Let's take one for this Page of Cups. King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I almost feel like you guys may be feeling passionate about someone or something or a situation. It's what he stands for, passion and determination and um, energy, very intelligent. This could be someone that's, that's in your circle or someone that's coming in. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone, um, maybe it's the King of Swords that's related to you and the King of Wands that wants to go out with you possibly, asking you out on a date here. I guess it could go either way. Hold on. Or that could be your uh, someone in your family and this could be someone, I mean, it could go either way. Sometimes it's the energy that you got to read, and sometimes it's the person. Maybe it's the person that's giving you this opportunity here as well. Hold on. Six of Swords. Moving forward. Give me a second. Let me let me look at these. I almost feel like that for some of you guys, um, when you guys do go within, if you guys are kind of stuck in a situation you're not sure about, maybe it's this relationship, maybe it's regarding children, maybe it's regarding your own happiness and you just want to be happy and do something completely different, which good for you if that's the case. But I almost feel like that once you start listening to your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, your inner light, it will show you the path. It could possibly lead you into this um, King of Wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be the one helping you move forward into maybe this Three of Wands situation. Maybe they're bringing you in some sort of uh, offer or options. Maybe they're wanting to buy something from you. Maybe if you're building something or making something, they'll buy it from you. Maybe they're the one wanting to go out on a date with you. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Give me a second. Let me look. Look at it this way. The hermit will lead you to your happy place and then uh, rebirth, almost like a, a resurrection. And a, This can be spiritual, you all, but it can also be transformation and living life to its fullest. Sometimes when it's dark out, it, this will help you get back to the light. Sometimes when you want to change so bad, this is a great card because it gives you a new opportunity or a new outlook in life or a new situation possibly. Either way it goes, this turns out really good. So if you guys are wanting something different or new, now might be the time that you guys need to look into it. Honest to goodness, I see you guys taking on a different path, possibly with this Fool card too. Something that is new and exciting, a little bit scary because you don't have as much experience with either that job or that location, or maybe it's even this new relationship. You're a little bit in intimidated. Maybe you haven't been... Um, with someone new lately or you haven't had a relationship lately or 
and it makes you a little bit nervous, a little bit like fish out of water. But I think you're going to be happy with whatever this new adventure is for you all. I really do. You're moving forward here and you're going to take on something exciting that's going to put you all in a, in a good place, honestly. This is a beautiful reading. Hold on, let's take a couple side cards. Rebuild. <laughs> Just like the tower. The tower comes crumbling down. It's time to rebuild. It's time to take on this new adventure. It's time to move forward. It's time to take on a new job, possibly. Maybe you guys... Maybe there's been something going on with your home. Maybe you guys have had um, a situation that you guys... You know, there's been a lot of tornadoes. There's been a lot of different things lately. Maybe there's been something that has um, hindered your home or hindered your job or your business. Maybe it's time to rebuild with a new person. Maybe it's not physically rebuilding at all. Maybe it is, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's rebuilding with a new uh, partner that's coming in, moving forward with someone different. Hold on. <laughs> Big happy changes, you all. Is that not beautiful, you guys? I mean, this kind of says it with the ace in the middle, but for heaven's sakes, there's changes coming in for you guys that you guys are going to be tickled about. If there is something that you need to rebuild, maybe it is your home. Maybe it is your job or your business. Maybe it's rebuilding your family or your um, new partner or someone that's asking you out on a date. Maybe it's just time to rebuild your life the way that you want to, to build it, the way that you want to live, the way that will put you out of the dark and into the light. You have two new, brand new chapters right here that's coming in. And that Ace of Cups is as, absolutely beautiful in the middle. Big happy changes. Just realize that sometimes you need to rebuild um, certain things that's going on in your life to make you happy. It might be time to take on this new adventure because something's coming in for you all that's going to make you happy and see things in a different way. And I feel like you guys are going to be transformed throughout this month in different ways. This is a great reading, Pisces. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your um, first half of March, March 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Happy birthday, you all. Some of you guys are having birthdays. I'm sorry. Happy birthday. See you soon. Bye.